Why, hello, and welcome back to another episode of Voice of the Rings. I'm your host and guide, Zolid Iron Shield, as always, and we're going to do a Lotro Guide video today. And again, I am using my camera so I can talk to you with the Lotro Guide playlist, but we're going to talk about chat, um, uh, joining a custom chat channel in Lord of the Rings. It's a little bit of a unique thing. I have a video on the chat box already if you want to go back and check it out, my guide videos, but I will do a quick review for you guys in this video, and then we're going to talk about how to join a custom channel, all right? I'll leave links to the Lotro Wikis where in a couple of places that have really good explanations for this, but let's talk about it real quick. So what is a custom chat channel? Well, there are some generic ones. When you get your little thing here, right? So for one, if you want to move this around and you hold the general tab, you can wiggle it around, right? Move it, put it anywhere on the on the screen you want and on the bottom right corner you can grab this little tab and shrink it and make it bigger right now if you want to make the words bigger on the screen you just open your settings hit escape or hit this little air uh, computer down here in the bottom and then go to options which is what i'm in right here options but i just turned it off now <laughs> all right escape options go in here so if you go over to the chat button down here You'll open up this thing and you'll be able to control things. So for example, I'll just talk about it real quick. Again, if you want to know more details about this, all these different things, go to my chat box video on the same playlist on Lutro Guide. But um, here's all the basic channels, right? So a lot of the things you can filter and put into the game that are generic. And then there's these things called user chat channels. And that is what I'm going to talk about right now, how to join them, how to create them. They're usually created um, when you create a user chat channel. A lot of people can join it with a certain, the, the exact wording is the channel you join and it's created in the system. And then if every single one of those characters logs out, the channel goes away. You have to remake the channel when you're logged in. Unless one of them is always on, then the channel will always be good and you'll just be able to connect to it as your character. Um, but anyway, that's not important really. So basically to make a special channel, all right? So for example, right now I have these all bigger. So again, if I wanted to make, so looking for fellowship right i have it on 23 as you can see here that is the biggest you can make it again the reason it's so small for you guys is because i'm doing this on a 2k screen so it looks fine for me but um i tried to blow it up for you making my resolution lower but it looked terrible so we're just going to stick to this and then um so if i go to 14 look at how tiny it is if i write in the lff now see there's what i had it recently now if i go hi See how tiny it is? It's minusculely tiny, right? So then if I want to turn it back into 23 and then said, hi, you can see it's been blown up quite a bit. Now I wish you could make it bigger. There might be mods for that. I don't know, but I don't need it any bigger than that anyway. Once it's max, I can see it pretty good. And I can read these small things too. I have pretty decent eyes in that way. But moving on. Uh, so now how do you join a chat channel? Okay. So this is where it might get a little more on the tricky end, okay? So again, you can change the colors of each one. And if you notice, I have different color schemes for some of my channels. This is because this is the way I use to make my cool little Patreon uh, thing at the end of the video. I'm going to show it early real quick for you right there. But you can see I've got my two Patreons. Thanks to Mr. Marvell. Um, But as you can see, I've got my different levels of Patreons in different colors, right? So I do that in the chat thing for my little special thing because it's kind of cool that I can use the system in the game, right, to do that. So um, uh, that's how I... But how do I make those? Okay, well, first things first, I just color... Went in here. These are always here. I color-coded these, made them the size I wanted, right, as big as they could be. I color-coded them. So now to write in them right so if i wanted to write in my patreon page if i just said if i wanted to type basically what happens is you go to this little button down here this is what i gotta tell you first right see this button right here click this little button there to say and then go hover down to channel um output channel and then you've got your emote um looking for fellowship leaderboard all these different one trades say all these different things, right, and world chat. And then you've got user channel one through eight. These are the ones we're going to talk about, okay? They're always set up. You could have up to eight on one character, right, set up and ready. So if I hit one, so now I'm in user chat one, and I say, hi, there it is. Isn't that pretty cool? All right. So now, again, the reason you can see this, because if I put my, all right, let me show you this. I go in here, I go into filters, right? I have my filters on for that, right? So that is pretty cool. So now let's say I want to go to user chat eight, right? Or let's say my red one is six. So I have a good user chat six and say hi. All right. So now you're curious, how did I make these, right? How does it say to the Dwarven Guard, right? That's the channel. I actually named it that. It's always going to say two, but this is the name I gave it. All right. So again, 
if I wanted to do this. So if I go to user chat eight and say hi, nothing happens because I'm not in the user chat eight. I don't have that set up, right? User chat seven, hi. All right, well, that's there still. So that's pretty cool, right? So that's still set up. Again, it has it actually kept my channels. I thought it would delete them from what I previously knew, but it might keep the channels as long as you have them. Um, you don't leave them because you can leave the channels. So if I wanted to make channel eight for you guys, for an example, I'm gonna go to the channel eight, but how do you join channel eight? That is the question, right? How do I do this? Now, one thing that's very important to know, I know I keep saying that, I'm sorry guys, I'm gonna get to the point right now. Um, you have to make them in order. So when you join a channel, it'll take up channel one. It won't do the other channels. If you join another channel, it'll take up channel two. So it matters in what order you join channels. And then when you, and then once you leave the channels, it'll refill those spots. Okay, that's just how the system works. Don't worry about that. So now if I wanna join this, I'm gonna open something for you guys right now, uh, right here. All right, so this is one of the best posts I've seen on this uh, from a long time ago. From 2012, someone did this, but it's still relevant. I'm going to zoom way in for you guys here. And I'm going to go down to this thing. And basically, it, it explains to you, I'll put this in the link, how to join it. But I'm going to show you two on the screen, so it's a little less confusing. So again, if I want to join a channel, so you see, you got all these awesome explanations and info here. But um, did this guy have more? I thought he had more here. And then also I have this other one here that shows you more details. But let's go ahead and just show you. So you're going to type slash join. All right, well, that's not going to help you because I'm typing in the wrong location. Oh, 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 my bad. All right, right here. You go into the chat thing, slash join. Excuse me. I have my fingers off join channel all right that command space there's no space between the forward slash and join channel space now you're going to put in your um name of your channel okay so let's say uh voice of now here's something very interesting when i put in the channel the moment i put a space it's going to not allow, um, it's going to put info into that channel and it will join it just channel voice. But let's say I want to have it a full name, but I want to have some kind of space. You can do dashes. So voice dash of dash the right dash rings. All right. So let's say that is my um, channel I'm joining. Okay. And then I'm going to say hi and push enter. All right. Now it should. There we go. See? So actually, forget putting hi after. You do the command first. Do you notice how it didn't put anything out when I first hit enter? It joined the channel right, but it also didn't put hi on there because I put a space. So it didn't even care about that in the command um, info. Again, it's a little bit like computer programming, just slightly, like a real minor version, but now you know how to do it, okay? So now let's say, oh, it's kind of smaller than the other ones. Well, you go into your thing, you say, I'm gonna put that up to 23, and it's white. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna make it, you know, this uh, green, I'm gonna make it green channel eight, right? So now if I go, hello, YouTube, I am now in this channel, you right, right? All right, so now you can see I am in the channel for um, this for now on. So now I could do that if I wanted to on my Patreon thing, right? Because again, now you gotta make sure your filters are on. If you make a new tab to have as a special chat channel, you turn off all the other filters, Let's say I had eight turned off, unchecked, okay? Now if I said hi in it, nothing's gonna show up. And then let's say I turn my filter back on, right? I'm like, oh no. But now the, it wasn't set, so never got it. So if I clicked hi again, now it'll show up. All right, so that's how the filters work. And one last thing that might help you guys out is to make a tab, uh, you just right click on general and say, uh, not rename, but create new tab. And then um, it makes a new tab and now you can right click on that new tab rename you can also delete it there and say voice of the rings tab and then let's say i just the only thing i want to show up here is let's say world chat so now you're going to see people start typing in world chat and user chat eight right so now if i type in world chat and said hi people are going to be able to see that i'm going to be able to see the world chat also in general if you go back to general see i have world chat on so you see but no one's typed yet in world chat even i turned the filter on so no one said anything in the last 10 seconds so that's why I haven't seen it yet. And then if you want to go to your uh, chat eight, channel eight, you just made it and go, hi, 
See, it's bigger because I made it bigger than World Chat. My World Chat is set at a lower thing. But now you know how to join a channel. And again, I'm going to have both these articles in the links. That'll give a little bit more explanation. But really, the only command is slash, slash, forward slash, join channel. All one word. No space in between those. Space, whatever your name's going to be, enter. But of the channel, whatever your name's going to be of the enter. And it'll always say to that channel. So again, it does matter... If you if, if you put a if you want to make a channel name with a bunch of let words, it, you do dashes in between. Otherwise, it's only going to use the first word if you put a space, and it'll just ignore everything else. And then it'll be channel, you know, to voice, right? It wouldn't give me my other of the rings. All right. So I hope that helps you out a little bit, guys. I know that was a really nerdy. <laughs> I got a hello, Zolin. <laughs> yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, hello. So again, see, World Chat is working now in this channel. But see, now you know how to make a tab. You know how to join a private channel. Again, that is how I made them bigger, how I color-coded them for my Patreon pages. And fun little thing. And then I just screenshotted this and made that into a cool little link. And then I just update it whenever a Patreon joins. But that's my fun way of using that since I don't use it very much in-game. But you might want to use the user chat. You have a couple friends you want to have a private chat channel with that isn't, you know, that isn't just in a fellowship. But see, the, the bonus of having a private chat is because normally you can use fellowship or kin chat if you're in the same fellowship or kin but what if you want to have a private chat with just three people and you're not in the same kinship or you're not in the same fellowship then you won't be able to use those two to talk right these two right here or and say is only close by so that's when you would make um a special user channel and again it matters what ones right and then to leave a channel okay so now let's say i wanted to leave channel eight right user channel or one of your other channels I don't want to leave my, leave my other ones, but let's say I would say slash leave. Um, I believe it's leave channel I'm using this out of my memory. And then I need to do the exact same dash of the exact same channel or it won't know what you're talking about. Cause you're basically doing a computer, a computer command. So if I do that, you left room voice of the ring. So now if I type in this, hello, right? Nothing's sent because I'm not in an eight channel. I'm not in the user eight channel, but I'm still in my other seven channels that I use for my doing my Patreon stuff. Okay. Does that help you guys out? I hope that helped you guys out. I feel like that was uh, pretty good. I'm sorry that it was a little, a little um, delayed at the beginning there. I was trying to get my thoughts together for you to really understand. So that was a technical video, technical guide video on how to join private user channels in Lord of the Rings Online 2022. Uh, what year is it? I don't know. <laughs> all right my friends i hope that helped you out please don't forget to like and subscribe subscribe button's gonna be right there next episode in this playlist of guides will be up in the top left and a low tail my main entertaining content will be over there where i do voiceovers and play through the game and stuff so check them all out and i'll see you in the next episode of voice of the rings have a good one <laughs>